Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today on Cooking Up Love, we are making our slow cooker pot roast with cream of mushroom sauce. It's rich and tender with a creamy mushroom and onion sauce that makes an incredible brown gravy. It's super easy to make this delicious homemade cream of mushroom sauce or to get it in the pot even faster, I've also included directions for using cream of mushroom and French onion soup in the description box below. After about six hours in the slow cooker, this delicious melt in your mouth roast is ready to serve with your choice of potatoes and sides for a hearty, mouth-watering meal everyone will love. Here's a quick look at our ingredients and I've also listed them in the entire recipe in the description box below. Begin by trimming up a three and a half to four pound chuck roast, removing any hard fat and gristle. If this is your first time at our channel, we believe sharing homemade food spreads joy and touches lives. And we'll show you how to make delicious dishes you can proudly share with your friends and family. Like this amazing beef roast, it's perfect for all of those meat and potato lovers around your table. I'd love to have you join us every week when we share new recipes. Subscribe to find out when we've posted a new one. Next, mix up two tablespoons of flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and a half teaspoon of garlic powder. Sprinkle the flour mixture over the roast and pat it in, then flip and repeat. You'll probably have about a tablespoon of the flour mixture left and set this aside for later. Heat a large skillet over medium-high heat and add about a tablespoon of avocado or olive oil. Once the oil is hot, add the roast and sear the beef, cooking for about four to five minutes on each side until it's crusty and brown. Once the beef is seared, place it into the bottom of the crock pot. Slice about a half pound of mushrooms. I'm using baby portobellas. Peel and chop one medium sized onion. Now to make the homemade cream of mushroom sauce. If you're short on time or ingredients, check the description to find out how to use cream of mushroom soup instead. Begin by heating the pan we used for searing and add one tablespoon of butter. As it melts, add the onion and cook for about two minutes, scraping the bottom of the pan to bring up all of the crusty bits left over from searing the beef. Add two cloves of garlic and stir, cooking for about 30 seconds, and then add the mushrooms. Continue to saute this mixture until the mushrooms are golden brown. Add the second tablespoon of butter. Add the leftover flour from earlier and add two more tablespoons of flour, stirring to incorporate and cook this for about two minutes. We're making a roux, which will be the foundation of our mushroom sauce. I love a good beef roast. Some of my favorites are Mississippi roast, spicy chili con carne, and this creamy mushroom pot roast. In case you want to try, I'll leave a link in the description. And do you have a different best loved roast recipe? Share your favorite in the comments. We are always looking for a new one. Slowly add one half cup of beef broth, stirring the roux mixture so it begins to form a thick base. Then slowly pour in one half cup of milk, stirring to incorporate, and let this cook for about two minutes. Add salt and pepper to taste. 
Pour in 10 ounces or one can of beef consomme or beef broth into the slow cooker. Add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And pour the cream of mushroom sauce over the roast. Cover and cook on low for six to eight hours until the meat is melt in your mouth tender. You can serve this roast just like this or make the easy mushroom sauce with the brown gravy. I'm using a fat separator and then putting the gravy into a medium saucepan. Bring this to a boil. Mix two tablespoons of cornstarch with a couple tablespoons of cold water and pour it into the gravy. Use a whisk to stir and cook to thicken the sauce. We love this pot roast with potatoes, smothering the boiled or mashed potatoes with lots of rich mushroom gravy. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and thank you for watching our channel. When you watch, comment, and share our videos, it helps other people find us and your support means so much to us. And if you're looking for more delicious slow cooker recipes to share with your family, try this amazing French dip. It has such an incredible beefy flavor and it's super easy to make. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.